Is Star Wars Rise of the Resistance the best ride at Disneyland? Galaxy's Edge, the sprawling Star Wars themed land at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland is one of the most immersive theme park experiences ever created. And it's about to get bigger than Ben Swallow now that Rise of the Resistance is officially open at both parks. The only way to make being on a Star Destroyer more thrilling would be turning Holdo's Last Stand into the roller coaster of my dreams, or I don't know, maybe my brain is just broken from playing way too much Roller Coaster Tycoon as a kid. The second attraction to open in Galaxy's Edge is one of the most ambitious rides in the theme park's history. Rise of the Resistance puts you smack dab in the middle of a battle between the First Order and the Resistance. As a member of the Resistance or a double agent for the First Order, depending on which mission you choose to play on the Play Disney Parks app, you can board a transport shuttle that gets caught in a First Order tractor beam, trapping you aboard an Imperial Star Destroyer. Before you know it, you are held hostage by the First Order and find yourself interrogated by the likes of General Hux, Kylo Ren, and a metric ton of stormtroopers who are all tragically born without the ability to aim. It's so sad. They want to know the location of General Leia's secret resistance base, and thankfully, you have some friends on the inside before you have to spill the beans. Like Finn, who's going to help you find your way throughout this sprawling ship to make good your escape. Using a blend of cutting-edge computer graphics, animatronics, and what I can only presume is the Force because I'm a stupid person and not an Imagineer, the ride takes you on a breakneck chase throughout the Star Destroyer as you try to escape Imperial clutches. Clocking in around 15 minutes long, this ride is well worth the wait, and it's guaranteed to leave you with a smile on your face. While the ride isn't particularly stomach churning, there are a couple surprise moments in there that may have you making the Kessel Run to the Porcelain Throne if you were only full of coffee, fear, and blue milk like I was. So, I don't know, just eat a Ronto wrap or something. You'll thank me later. With tons of Easter eggs to uncover, plenty of opportunities to use your data pad, and some seriously detailed production design, Rise of the Resistance raises the bar for what we should expect from theme park rides, especially ones based on massively popular IP like Star Wars. Now, if nothing else, this is a Star Wars story that everyone can agree is worth the price of admission. But tell me, what do you think? Are you going to make the journey to ride Rise of the Resistance? And what would your dream Star Wars theme park ride be? Let's discuss. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like this video and share it with your friends. And if you want to make sure that you never miss out when we drop a new video, please subscribe to our channel and smash that little bell. That way you're guaranteed to be up to date on all the latest news, theories, and rumors in the pop culture world.